kind enough to take your seats. We're ready to begin the program. My name is David Small, Rabbi of Emanuel Synagogue, and welcome to everyone. This is a very exciting evening. I'm told that this is the first time we have Zimriyad's time in our community, and what a blessing it is. I can tell you that when I look out and see everyone here, see all the faces, all the forces, all the people who come to listen and support, uh, it's truly exciting. Uh, it raises us all as a community. I want to extend a heartfelt welcome to everyone, to our community partners, the Mandel JCC, the Jewish Federation, the Jewish Community Foundation, all of the congregations, all of the choruses, all of you who come here tonight to enjoy this concert and to support it. And for whatever corners you come tonight, let us experience this wonderful evening as one community. And now, with great pleasure, I'd like to introduce Cantor Emily Sleeper Mecklen. Please give her a very warm round of applause.
Greater Hartford Jewish Choral Festival is the culmination of my dream. Much of my professional life, in addition to being a member of the clergy, has been devoted to the perpetuation of Jewish music, both vocal and instrumental. There are so many people who have participated in making this dream into a reality, either behind the scenes or performing the music. I hope that you will feel that it has been a rewarding and worthwhile endeavor. When we set the date of December 11th, I was not aware that, coincidentally, in the past 20 years, on or around the second Sunday in December, thousands of choirs have joined in the celebration of World Choral Day. Millions of singers across the globe have been involved in World Choral Day concerts, festivals, sing-alongs, choral seminars, days of friendship, and other events. The International Federation of Choral Music, which represents thousands of choral organizations and conductors and choirs all over the world, views World Choral Day as an important opportunity to promote the social values of choral singing. This date for today's in Riyadh was for shared. In addition to my notes at the end of the printed program, I must thank the following. The Jewish Community Foundation for providing us with a grant for the Zimriya Greater Hartford Jewish Choral Festival, the Jewish Federation, and the Mandel JCC, specifically the Executive Director, David Jacobs, for applying for the grant on my behalf, and to the JCC staff, Donna Goldstein, Harriet Dobin, and Renee St. Louis, for all their help and good nature. Each of this afternoon's workshop leaders, Cantor Sandy Cohn, Cantor Anita Schubert, Alex Farkas, Laura Deutsch, Cantor Eric Concius, for inspiring and teaching us about Jewish music, as well as helpful information and techniques for singers. Emmanuel Synagogue, Cantor Sandy Cohn, and its staff for inviting us and preparing this beautiful building and this sacred space for the Zimriyat. The Hart College of Music at the University of Hartford for lending us the risers for this evening's concert. Today's volunteers, all of them, you appreciate their help so much. Our guest composer, Cantor Eric Concius of Temple Israel of New Rochelle in New York for sharing his choral compositions, his teaching, his rich baritone voice with us and with the Jewish world. Demonstrating deep love and commitment towards his field of endeavor, Cantor Concius, and his unique sounds beautifully reflect his relationship with the divine, which is clearly evident in his pulpit presence and original compositions. While Cantor Concius' passion for his music ranges from Hazanut, cantorial art music, to Yiddish folk songs, as well as opera and Broadway melodies, Cantor Concius is most at home on the pulpit leading prayer. He has composed many ritual works for the synagogue and most recently a setting of Psalm 116 in Hebrew and in Latin, which had its world premiere in November 2010 at the Vatican. Cantor Concius presently serves as the Cantor of Temple Israel in New Rochelle, and he asked me to let you know about a concert next weekend. <laughs> a little commercial called Further Definitions of the Days of Awe, a jazz concert. It's Sunday, December 18th at 7 o'clock. A unique fusion of jazz and cantorial music celebrating the release of the critically acclaimed CD, The Afro Semitic Experience Further De Definitions of the Days of Awe, featuring soloists Cantor Jack Mendelssohn, Cantor Eric Concius. Cantor Freda Mendelssohn, Daniel Mendelssohn, Mendelssohn, and the musicians of the, Af uh, the Afro-Semitic Experience. This will be at Temple Israel Center, White Plains, New York, next Sunday, December 18th at 7 p.m. Joshua Jacobson, who is the founder and artistic director of Samir Chorale in Boston, said, We're choral singers. We understand that one voice alone cannot create harmony. We understand that the special beauty that is called harmony 
can exist only when people come together to sing their different notes at the same time, in the same place, based on an agreed upon model, each individual submerging part of his or her ego in order to create a unified whole. <coughs> this evening's guest choruses, Makila, the Jewish chorus, oh, excuse me, I should also um, thank Cantor Joseph Ness of Bethel Temple here in West Hartford, well known for his many talents as an arranger and conductor and many, many Jewish musical programs. One of his compositions will be um, sung by the combined choral pieces in the, the combined choruses as noted in, the, in your program. This evening's guest chorus is Makila, the Jewish Chorus of Western Massachusetts, directed and conduct, conducted by Kayla Worland, and Hazamir Hartford, the Teen Choir, which is the local branch of the International Hazamir Choir, under the direction of Cantors Sandy Cohn and Joseph Ness. All of this evening's conductors, accompanists, soloists, and more than 165 singers who have rehearsed many, many hours will perform in this evening's concert from all over the greater Hartford area, and obviously Massachusetts as well. I want to thank my accompanist, Mr. Ralph Patterson from Temple Beth Hillel, and special thanks to my husband, Mark Cohen, for his support, assistance, love, and encouragement, and my daughter, Becky Meckler, as well. Other acknowledgments appear in the program. If I have inadvertently forgotten anyone, I apologize. I'm sure I'll hear about them. <laughs> 